Every month, the West Texas Homeless Network invites the community to come together offering coffee to discuss what help is available for people in need. Here with us now is Catherine Bisson. Thank you for joining us today. So obviously you are the executive director at Abilene Hope Haven, um, but you're also part of the West Texas Homeless Network. So tell us a little bit about this, this coalition. So I'm currently the public relations chair for the West Texas Homeless Network. So it's my job to get the word out about what we do um, and also to spread awareness on different issues that are affecting our neighbors that are experiencing homelessness. And let's just talk about in the last year, two years, um, we've seen a lot of stuff in the news, um, headlines about what y'all are doing. So talk about some of the highlights of the West Texas Homeless Network. There's been a lot of highlights in the last year and it's been so cool just to see our community come together and um, to be able to be a part of that. One of the major accomplishments was uh, achieving functional zero for veteran homelessness. There's a lot of confusion about what that mm -hmm. means. Um, it doesn't mean that we don't have veterans that are experiencing homelessness in our, in our community. It means we've created a system such that when we do identify someone that's a veteran experiencing homelessness, we're able to quickly um, connect them to mm -hmm. permanent housing. And so let's talk about these meetings then. This is also a chance for people um, to come and get that help from y'all. Yes, so we have the meetings. Um, it's called Coffee and Conversations is uh, the meeting that we're doing. We also have our regular West Texas Homeless Network meetings as well. The Coffee and Conversations is the second Monday of every month and it's at the Abilene um, Public Library downtown on the second floor in the conference room. And I absolutely love being a part of that because there's free coffee and free uh, snacks, yes. which is wonderful. Um, but it's just an opportunity in a casual setting to get agencies together, but also get people that are, maybe they don't have housing, mm -hmm. or maybe they need connection to food or clothing, and they can come as well and get information on those resources. And I know doing a lot of work with you guys, um, people may think that someone experiencing homelessness is that person who is living on the streets, but um, you've seen a wide variety from families to people who are one paycheck away from, from experiencing that. Yeah. That's the thing I absolutely love about my job is getting to hear the different stories of people that are experiencing homelessness and that no household looks the same, comes from the same background, dresses the same. Like there's just such a diversity amongst everybody and you really just never know until you're in that situation. Um, we've had people that have master degrees. We've mm -hmm. had people that um, have a health issue. Maybe they were a charge nurse or something. I mean, I, there's so many stories I could share with you guys about you'd be surprised mm -hmm. at what can happen if you don't have the proper support in the networks and the information to connect to the resources that are out there. Okay, so when is this next Coffee with the Conversation? So the next one will be next Monday. Okay. Um, and it will be at 9 a.m. at the Public Library and it's one hour long, so okay. 9 to 10. So who really are you inviting to come to this then? So I would invite any agencies that want to be a part of this. Um, currently we have people that are um, there to offer information about mental health services, mm -hmm. also peer recovery support, um, as well as employment opportunities. But any other agency that feels that they could really want to want to get the word out there about what their agency has to offer, but also people that uh, maybe are in a tight spot, maybe they're struggling with either housing or food mm -hmm. or clothing or something, if they want to get information, we welcome them to come as well. And you guys have a Facebook page and a website people can contact yes. as well, right? So homeagainwtx.com is okay. our website. And we're also really active on our Facebook page. So West Texas Homeless Network. You can just search that on Facebook and um, like us on there. All right, well, we appreciate what you're doing in our community to help our neighbors experiencing homelessness. So if you want to come out for free coffee and conversations with the West Texas Homeless Network, they meet at the Abilene Public Library in downtown Abilene every second Monday from 9 to 10 a.m. For more information, of course, you can search for them on Facebook.